As you know, the other faculty members and I are quite impressed with your performance here at Ravenwood School. So much so that we would like you to travel abroad as a representative of the best Wizard City has to offer. You will compete in a magical tournament, dueling students from other magic schools for the ultimate prize, the Spiral Cup. Sadly, Ravenwood hasn't taken the cup in a long, long while. But we can't give up trying. Hello there. You must be our visiting wizard. Welcome to Pigswick Academy. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. You show Mrs. Dowage the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then speak to Benedict Glendemming. He is both Master of Arms and our judge. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round, Return to me, and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting! You inspect the Spiral Cup, the greatest prize in all the Spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Glendemming. Master of Arms of Pigsvik Academy. For years I have taught magic and dueling. With my training, Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the Chamber of the Basilisk, if you will and defeat Blaze Flame Render. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? Well, well, well. A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on ya. and tell Master Glendamit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. Watch out, Wizard. Pigswick folk are cheaters. They'll break the rules whenever they can get away with it. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well, then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Good for you. It's been so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given up teaching magic there. Now that we've determined you'll be staying to compete in the tournament, it's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. There you can meet the students you will be matched against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doonstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. You should also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's a small dresser. It should be safe there. It's 
nice to meet you. I'm Beatrice Wildwind from Weirwood. I look forward to crossing spells with you. Good luck. Greetings, my fellow wizard. Please allow me to present myself. Kizai Shugenja, representing Mushu in this tournament. I have longed to pit my magical skills against one of the Ravenwood school wizards, so this is fortuitous indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you, student of Ravenwood. I am called Nalia Dunstrider, and I come from a place called Mirage. I am unsurprised you have never heard of my world. It is a subtle place, an oasis in a desert of mystery. Perhaps we will speak more before the tournament. You're the wizard city representative? Hmm. The tournament has really lowered its standards this time around, I suppose. You don't think you have a chance of winning, do you? The Spiral Cup isn't going anywhere, and I'll be the one to win it. You place the Ravenwood class ring in the dresser. It should be safe here. You should report back to Mrs. Dowager. I trust you had no trouble settling in. It's time you met the headmistress of Pigswick Academy, Belladonna Crisp. She makes a point of meeting all students. Please go to the headmistress's office and introduce yourself. Please don't be late. She's a strong believer in discipline. I've been waiting. What kept you? I suppose you've been welcomed by Mrs. Dowager and passed Benedict's test, so let's dispense with the formalities. I'm not sure what claptrap and nonsense they fill your head with at Ravenwood, but at Pigswick Academy, we study real magic. The first order of business will be for you to go and meet the professors here. They're a top-notch group, without exception. I hope they can straighten out some of the foolishness Ambrose and his cronies may have passed along. The classrooms are located throughout the city. You should speak to everyone in whatever order you please. They are as follows. Professor Thaddeus Price, who teaches Tempest Magic. The Earth Professor is our very own Chester Drawls. Ember Magic is taught by Professor Anku. Edna Fuligan teaches Spirit. And Chaos is Hieronymus Bonch. Rounding out our faculty are Quentin Burble teaching frost magic and Velma Pepper in the Equilibrium classroom. You look confused. You don't know those schools of magic. Speak to our faculty. Perhaps they can help. Welcome to the School of Earth Magic, young wizard. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Chester Drawers. What? Why are you smirking? At any rate, I teach Earth magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Because my school is that of the Earth, I find it stifling to teach inside, so I lecture outside whenever possible. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery. But Earth magic is the magic of the real. From Earth came all things, and eventually, all shall return to its clutches. Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duties. So many papers to grade. Hello there! Did I surprise you? I'll wager you're thinking, Whoa, is that a Yeti? Teaching? I'd never expect that! Chaos! That's the sort of thing I teach here! I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization! 
Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, the unusual, the unpredictable. It defies logic and turns things down side up. Anything and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. Order is boring. You don't want to find that. We'll talk more later, I'm sure. Or am I? Well, hello there, my little friend. What brings you here? You want to learn about frost magic? You should talk to someone who knows then. Oh, that would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? I am Professor Quentin Burble at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I teach Pigswick Academy students about the nature of frost. Frost is... Fleeting and quick, a fragile and delicate thing. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Do you understand frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more than that. I'm behind in my lesson preparation. Why, hello there, young wizard. You have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy. Welcome to my laboratory. I am Professor Velma Pepper, and I teach the magic of equilibrium. My school represents bringing order to the spiral. The natural world is full of confusion and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the equilibrium wizard to create harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Now, though, I must return to work. Who dares disturb me? Hmm... You must be here for the tournament, eh? Another of those tiresome Meet the Professor's tours. Let me introduce myself, then. I am Professor Edna Fulogen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic concerns the ghostly state that exists after life. We are students of the immaterial world. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastare back at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant Dwargan will be better. Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus Price, Professor of Tempest Magic. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest Magic, right? Tempest magic is about duality and hidden meaning. Like the tide, it's about the ebb and flow of life. The surface is stormy to be sure, but beneath it is dark and quiet and the waters are deep beyond imagining. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm fairly certain that here we have it right. Greetings, oh honored guest from Wizard City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. Ember Magic is about warmth and security. In the cold, dark of the spiral, Ember is like a warm rock to stretch out on. Wizards who study Ember Magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors and cooks, using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries or bake cookies. So from the ember we can learn much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. I've heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree, and it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient that must be. Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? At Pigswick Academy, we recognize that the source of all magic is a fountain. 
not a tree, and it's right here on campus. If you take a look at the Fount of Magic, you'll see the error of your ways. It's in the center of campus, not far from here. When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student, so go on, learn something. You examine the Fount of Magic. Looks like any other fountain. Something doesn't add up about this place. Did you notice anything magical about the fountain? I mean, surely you saw how it must be the one true source of magic. What's that? You've impressed me. Maybe you've been able to learn a thing or two about magic, despite your training. Though your aid in the Pegasus place matter is appreciated, it will not affect your participation in the tournament. Speaking of, it is time for you to report to Mrs. Dowager. The first round of magical dueling is about to commence. Why, hello again. I hope you've had a relaxing time settling in. Look at the time. The tournament should commence soon. Oh, but I've yet to give the students copies of the tournament rules. Could you be a dear and help me out? I need you to go give copies of the rules to each of the competitors. Here is one for your own use, and copies for Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Dunstrider, and Randolph Spellshine. You can find them all in the student dormitory. Return to me when you've given them their tournament rules. be great to duel. I can't wait to see what you've got. Can you help me with something? I went to look around, but I suspect that one of the... Most excellent. I was concerned about the lack of formalities. I will now meditate on the coming duel. Muda's smile upon you. You have my thanks. It is wise for them to enforce rules to this tournament. Best for the safety of all. Rules? I don't need any stinking rules. I've got this tournament in the bag. The spiral cup is missing. How could that be? Maybe Benedict Glendeming knows what has happened. There you are. I noticed the spiral cup was missing, and I wanted to see how you would react to that. This is quite suspicious. With the spiral cup missing, the tournament will be a mockery. Pigsvik Academy will be known as the school that lost the prize. You should inform Mrs. Dowager about this. She will know what to do. The what is what? Do not worry over much. I am certain that the Spiral Cup will turn up sometime soon. It must just be a terrible mistake. 
If it was taken deliberately, it was undoubtedly the work of someone attempting to discredit Pigswick Academy. No matter. Even without the cup, the tournament must continue without delay. Please report to Benedict in the tournament hall to start. Mrs. Dowager is right. The Spiral Cup is but a prize. What is important is the skill and courage that wins it. We will see about finding the cup in due course. But now, it is time for your duel. You are matched against Kisai Shugenja, our representative from Mushu. You must face one another in the Hall of the Hydra. Return here when the duel has a winner. Greetings, O oh honorable opponent. Though I will defeat you, I hold for you the greatest respect. the worthiest opponent I have yet dueled. I have learned much from this encounter, and I thank you for the lesson. Master Glen Deming awaits word of the outcome of our duel. Could you deliver it to him? You are the victor? I am surprised. Young Shugenja is quite the duelist. Perhaps Diego taught you something after all. On the matter of the disappearance of the Spiral Cup, I have examined the area and made an important finding. Congratulations on your victory. You should tell Mrs. Dowager what has transpired and deliver this to her, will you? Benedict hands you a small sealed pouch with his stamp upon it. The first round goes to Ravenwood. What's this? A pouch from Glen Deming? Let me see what's inside. It is vitally important that someone tell Headmistress Crisp that the spiral cup has been misplaced. Can you do it? Report to her office and let her know that we are still searching for it. Please give this pouch to her and do not open it. I heard about your victory in the first round. But what's this I hear about the spiral cup? And what's in that little pouch? Benedict Glendeming has sent me a piece of evidence that points to the identity of the one who made away with the spiral cup. Before I make any accusations, I would like you to go to the student dormitory and bring your Ravenwood ring back here. It is probably in the small dresser you were assigned. Please do fetch it at once.
You searched the dresser for the Ravenwood ring Mr. Lincoln gave you, but it is missing. Missing, was it? Exactly as I thought. Is this what you were looking for? Headmistress Crisp opens the small pouch from Benedict, and out falls your school ring. Glenn Deming claims this was found at the scene of the crime. It seems highly suspicious. Almost too easy? Headmaster Ambrose must wish to regain the spiral cup, so I wonder if he has sent you to take it by trickery. Still, leaving such an obvious clue at the scene of the crime is such a dunder-headed move, even for a student of Ravenwood. Despite the loss of the Spiral Cup, the tournament will not be stopped, which means you must return to the tournament hall. Speak with Master Glendimming and see who you are due to compete with next. Return to me when you have completed your match. Headmistress Crisp wants to continue the tournament. Very well, then. Your next duel is in the Hall of the Harpy. I have drawn lots to see who you will compete with. This round, you must pit your magic skills against Beatrice Wildwind. Speak to her once you get inside the Hall of the Harpy, and begin when you are both ready. The winner must report back to me. to begin? I haven't come all the way from Weirwood to lose this match, so don't expect any mercy! though. Maybe I'll have better luck next year. I'm sure Master Glendeming will want to hear the outcome of the duel. Can you tell him? You won! Congratulations! Though this does not clear you from suspicion. Report back to Headmistress Crisp in her office. I'm sure she has more questions for you. You've returned. With the air of victory about you. Very impressive. If you wish to prove your innocence, you'll need to do a bit of detective work. Go to the tournament hall and inspect the area where the spiral cup was taken, where Benedict claimed to find your ring. Inspect the area. See if you can find anything that proves you aren't the culprit. Return to me with your findings.
You find a few tiny leaves, pieces of bark, and some strands of vine. They don't look like they belong here. Hmm, very interesting. Where did you find this, you say? It looks like the mysterious new growth that overruns all of Tanglewood Way, but there is no way to be sure. Pity the street is closed off to all students. The Spiral Cup will never be recovered, and Pigswick will suffer for it. I suggest returning to Headmistress Crisp and telling her that this investigation is at a dead end. No one was able to identify the mysterious pieces of plant. Most suspicious. All of us at Pigswick Academy must maintain decorum in this trying time. And that means continuing with the tournament. To the tournament hall with you then, where you must meet with Master Glendeming and compete in your next match. Return here when you have completed your duel to continue our investigation into the Spiral Cup's disappearance. I'm afraid your duel is delayed. You must face Naria Doonstrider in the Hall of the Spectre, but she is nowhere to be found. Can you go to the student dormitory and see if she is still there? Warn her that if she does not show, the duel is forfeit. somewhere and I can't compete without it. I know we're competitors, but can you help me? I was with Randolph Spellshine when I lost it. My world of Mirage has few plants and I wanted to see Tanglewood Way. Randolph agreed to help me sneak in to see the street, but it was full of strange and scary tree people. I had to flee. Maybe Randolph Spellshine knows where my lost wand might be. Could you speak to him and see if he saw where I lost it? Really? Nalia has lost her wand? It's a miracle she knows it at all. What kind of wizard loses their wand? Sure, she dropped it in Tanglewood Way when she fled in fear. I suppose I could have said something, but why would I? If she can't keep track of her wand and it harms her in the tournament, more power to the rest of us, eh? Go and tell Nalia her wand is still there in Tanglewood Way, if she's brave enough to go get it on her own. It's on Tanglewood Way? Oh no, I can't go back there. When Randolph Spellshine and I went into Tanglewood Way, we convinced Lieutenant Roger to let us through the gate. Could you go and see if Lieutenant Roger will let you into Tanglewood Way so you can find and return my missing wand? Hold it right there. No one else will enter this street. Two students got in earlier and they barely escaped. If you're looking for a missing wand, you might ask Sergeant Harvey over there. He may have seen it before we closed the way. Sorry, I haven't seen any wand, but then I wasn't really looking when I turned tail and ran right out of there. If you want to go into Tanglewood Way and find that lost wand, there's a small crack in the wall you can wriggle right through. Hey, 
This looks like it might belong to Nalia. You should check in with Sergeant Harvey, then take it back to her. Looking around, you notice a lot of greenery that looks suspiciously like the plants you found in the tournament hall. My wand! I've been beside myself with worry. Thank you so much. Now that I've got my wand, I'm ready to duel. You should go tell Master Glendeming that I'll be there shortly. I'll see you in the tournament hall in the Hall of the Spectre. So, Nalia Doonstrider will be gracing us with her presence, will she? I applaud you for your sportsmanship. If she had not shown up for the duel, you would have won by default. Go to the Hall of the Spectre and show her what you're worth. And return to me when the duel is completed. Once again, I thank you for your effort recovering my lucky wand. I will not pull any punches in our duel, though. I am indebted to you. You showed me courtesy and sportsmanship, and still you defeated me soundly. Tell Master Glendeming that you were the winner today. Good luck to you. I hope you are the one who wins the tournament. You just might take the prize. I'm watching the standings of all other competitors, and you're one of the few unbeaten wizards. I trust Headmistress Crisp has more business with you. Business concerning the recovery of the Spiral Cup. I'm astonished. You're doing quite well. Would that Wizard City had seen fit to compete these past few years. So... You claim to have seen something like those pieces of plant from the tournament hall in Tanglewood Way, right? I was afraid you'd discover that the green men were involved. This isn't good at all. This is a most distressing turn of events. Still, I have just the thing to deal with the green men and recover the spiral cup. Step into my classroom, won't you? And let's see if we can't get you straightened out. I hadn't anticipated you discovering my connection to the Green Men so soon. 
You won't leave here to warn the others. Time to review your homework. Today's subject, traps. Myself. Let me get out of this place. Speak to me in the street. I've never been so thankful for a drubbing, let me tell you. The magical defeat you inflicted has broken the enthrallment Lord Bramble has over me. For a while, I will tell you what I can before his spell reasserts itself. Lord Bramble is the culprit, the one behind the theft. Lord Bramble wants to reclaim all of Wisteria to the wild, overgrown state it was before Pigswick Academy was founded. He wants to discredit Pigswick and to pit Ravenwood against it. That is why he chose to have me frame you for the theft. You must go to Tanglewood Way and defeat Lord Bramble in his tower. He has my soul trapped in a wooden doll. Bring it to me. It may be that he still has the spiral cup in his keeping. If it has not been smashed to bits, it will be in Bramble's tower. I knew that Draws was weak and would fail me, but I did not expect him to fall to a mere child. Come and face your doom.
Lord Bramble drops a small wooden doll, the one Professor Drawer spoke of. And there it is, the spiral cup. You have defeated Lord Bramble and put a stop to his madness. And with that wooden doll, my soul is now mine again. Go tell Headmistress Crisp that the Spiral Cup is recovered, and the dastardly plot is at an end. Well, well, well. You have been busy. I'm relieved to put the matter of the missing spiral cup behind us, and I apologize for our suspicions. Could you be so kind as to return the cup to the tournament hall and to speak to Master Glenn Deming about your final match? You return the spiral cup to its proper place. I thank you for restoring the spiral cup to its rightful place. Though you have proved a worthy duelist, I feel it will stay here. The student you face for your final round of the tournament is none other than Randolph Spellshine. Randolph is my greatest pupil, the finest student I have ever taught in all of my years at Pigsvik Academy. Still, you must at least attempt the formality of the duel. Go to the Hall of the Gorgon to face your defeat. Show up. Well, you've had a good run, but this is where you meet your better. I could barely believe it. You're a better wizard than I am, by far. Go and tell Master Glen Deming that you've defeated the best that Pigswick Academy has to offer. Unbelievable! This hall will be the emptier for the lack of the cup that has adorned it for so long. Go and tell Headmistress Crisp that Pigsvik's record is broken, and that Ravenwood is the winner now.
How does that feel? I can't say I'm pleased to see the Spiral Cup leaving our care, but it truly went to the best wizard in the tournament. Return to Wizard City and tell Headmaster Ambrose of your victory, but remind him that next year, we will take the cup back. How was your term abroad? Very interesting. Oh, you've done your school proud and showed them what true wizards are made of. Extra credit for you. <laughs>